welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer board game live stream. I'm I'm Callie here tonight with a bunch of friends. We have over here Danielle. You can say hi. hi. <laughs> we have Jenny. Hey. And we have Max. How's it going, everybody? And Mike. Howdy, guys. In addition to Michael. <laughs> so, yeah. yes, so it's pretty awesome. We don't usually get to have, you know, so many players. So tonight we figured we'd play a Dune Betrayal, a traitor style social deduction card game, which plays four to eight players. So we'll play five player game of that. Um, at least one. We'll see how long the game takes. It, it can be 20 to 40 minutes. We're going to be playing two of the factions, so people will be either House Atreides or House Harkonnen. And we won't know who is who, and you won't know, but you could vote and think and, you know, figure out who's, who you think is going to win <laughs> or which player you think is going to win. And to set up the game, it's mostly cards. There's a few tokens and a main board here with a couple of markers on it. So in just a second here, we'll get the top down view and you can see how, as we set up the game, how the cards are laid out. It's a really quick game, mostly cards, like I said. So I'll show you the full, uh, how to set it up and how to play. We have a bunch of new players. So uh, you played this game before, mm -hmm. Danielle and Max, you played it? Okay, yeah. so we have two, well, three, including myself, of course, <laughs> regular uh, players who've played before and two brand new players. So we'll go over the how to play as well. So be sure to join our Discord. Uh, we're going to do a Secret Santa gift exchange there. So you wanna be in the Discord in order to participate in that. That'll be fun. Well, there was a lot of fun last <laughs> we, year doing yeah, the Secret Santa. Last year we had a boatload of fun um, exchanging games and <laughs> wondering who, who got you what. <laughs> All right, so mostly cards. We'll have our board here. We have some action cards. We have some tokens, a couple of markers, and then a bunch of cards. So there's there's the action card deck. There's some, oh, we passed these out. These are reference cards. And then identity, trait, and target. So these we'll be using throughout the game identity you'll want to set up the identity based on how many players there are so we've already set aside these five identity cards that are going to be in the game and we can just briefly look you'll notice they are green and red so the harkonnen are the red and the atreides are green so you'll see harkonnen has a little bit of a disadvantage there's only two of them and that's why we're playing on this side of the board which is for the odd number of players where the Harkonnen have a little bit more leeway to score. So at the end of the game, we'll score and move based on, uh, so when House Atreides gains points, we'll go this way. If they lose points, we'll go this way. Harkonnen gains points, we'll go this way. If they lose points, we'll go this way. And then wherever the score marker ends up, that is the faction that will win the game. And down here, we have the round tracker. So three rounds will be collecting actions and either doing those actions or saving them for later in the game. And then during two rounds, we'll be placing target cards and attempting to attack and defend the players we think are, obviously attacking the players we think are not on our team, defending the players we think are on our team in order to score points for that um, faction. And then in addition, the action cards you choose, you'll wanna match them to your sigil and that'll gain you additional bonus points as well you don't have to but it'll give you bonus points so i'm going to set aside the rest of the identity cards we don't need them unless you know someone shows up and wants to play michael wants to join in for a game then you'll have to adjust the identity card deck i'm gonna just really shovel these up here there's not very many of them <laughs> and then Give everyone the option, here you go. Take a card. This will be your secret identity, so don't show it to anyone. Kind of look at it um, surreptitiously. Okay, so you'll notice too, in addition to either being red or green, 
you're a noble or a fighter. So if you're a noble, I'm gonna give everyone three cards. One fighter, one house Harkonnen, one house Atreides. These are going to be the clues sort of surrounding your identity that other players may be able to peek at to try to determine what team you are on. So let's say I am a fighter for House Harkonnen. I will have to choose the House Harkonnen card and the fighter card. And these will go face down on either side of my identity. However, if I am a noble of either house, I will choose both of the house cards and flip them face down. You know, no, no one knows what they are on the either side of my identity. Similarly, if I'm a fighter, but I'm for House Ar Atreides, I'll pick the fighter card and House Ar Atreides and put those right here. So the traits are going to both kind of shield you and give clues to other people about what you are. Once someone has peeked at the card, or if a card, action card allows you to do so, you'll be able to shield your trait card by turning it um, to the side and that means no one can look at the card anymore. So, and then of course, discard whichever card you're not using face down to the side. So I'm gonna give everyone these three options. And then the target cards we're gonna use once we get to the target phase. So th these are where we'll be choosing who we want to attack and who we want to defend. So everyone will have one of each and you'll play one one round and the other the other round. So we'll wait on these cards, these will go out here. The final setup for the game are the action cards. So you're going, we're going to reveal three and um, these are going to be the options that you have on your turn during these action rounds to choose a card. So you'll notice they have the symbols up at the top if you choose a card that matches the symbol on your identity card, that will give you a bonus point at the end of the game. However, you also want to look at what does the action card actually do. So first you'll notice some of them say immediate. That means you'll do the action immediately when you take that card. Others say when it will be used. This one will be used during the first targeting round. So down here, when we get to here on the round. And this one says an interrupt. So this is going to be during targeting rounds as well, but used on someone else's turn when they're targeting someone. So, oh, we didn't choose a first player. Oh. I forgot. <laughs> Do you want, you played to go first. Oh, sure. I was just going to ask Jenny if she, the identity thing made oh, no. sense. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know so if I chose the right card. If you chose cards. the right card? Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, it says on the reference card, okay. too. Okay, yeah, so if you're, if you're you need a that. Harkonnen fighter, you do Harkonnen and fighter card. Mm -hmm. oh. If you're an Atreides fighter, you do Atreides and fighter. And mm -hmm. then noble, you choose both of the houses. You Like, you're extra hidden as a noble. <laughs> okay. No fire card. I think... So look at your identity. Yep. Yep. And if it's one of the fighters, choose that color and the fighter card. Yeah, it should okay. say on there. And if it's not, then you do both of them. Both of the main ones, not the fighter card. Okay. I'm pr I think I got it. The, oh, that's not, no more reference. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just, make sure. just make sure. Yeah, so it actually, does it say here? No. It's yeah, it says here what they are, too, if you need to look at the name Okay. of who you are. That'll say... Atreides fighter oh, based I, on the name. I just didn't see I didn't see what I was looking for. Okay. Okay. But I see it now. Okay. So Yep, that that one's Thank good. You. And uh Danielle I'm going to start because she's played and I've played and then we'll go we'll go clockwise choosing one action card. So um maybe Max could you read these ones aloud so Okay, so the first okay. one is our mind games. It's the Thank first targeting you. round action. Play both your target cards in the second targeting round. So instead of it being in the first targeting round, both of your cards get played in the second. Okay. And that one gives a bonus point for all fighters. Yes. So either faction. And then we have the secret meeting card, which is an immediate effect. Show your trait to another player and view theirs, then shield both traits. So if Callie and I were to look at each other's after 
the look is done between the two of us. They get turned sideways in order to be shielded so no one else can view this card. And the same would go for Callie's. And then we have the Ornithopter Escape. It's an interrupt, so it allows you to hold on to it up until one of the target cards goes to affect you or another person. And it says reject a target card. Sender chooses a new receiver or discards the target card. So it's kind of a, no, you can't target me or my ally <laughs> at the end there okay. as we're targeting. Do this one. Secret meeting. Okay, so that one says it happens immediately. So you have to do it right now. Who are you choosing? So they show your trait to another player in view. I think they get to choose which one. Oh, okay. I'm fine with this one. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can Wasn't sure. Yep, okay. yep. And then make sure you give it back. And then you'll turn it to the side to show that it's been viewed. Now these cards cannot be targeted and viewed by anyone unless the card says specifically it can be used on shielded cards. Okay, and then thank you, Max, for putting out a new card. Now we have Aerial Recon. Which is in any targeting round. So in either one of these two rounds, you can use this card. It says, view the last target card another player received. Oh, that one's good. But it only will give points for a to nobles. nobles. So quick question there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I understand the benefit of that card if the cards are all visible in the first place. So, so we're each going to get one each, an attack and a defend. But when you play it, you'll play it face down. And it's player. a target card, not an action. And yeah, so if yeah. you think Danielle is your ally and well, say I put a card on her, I could either attack or defend on her. And by you viewing which card I put down, you, know you, your can, relation. Uh, you can yeah. decide mm -hmm. on who I could possibly be to the other person. Mm -hmm. So okay. it gives you an insight. I think I like that card. So sometimes, even if a car might not give you points, it's good to, if it's a good ability, it's a good one. And information is so important in this game. In the game. All right. All right. We have another worm sign here. It's an immediate card. It says, show another player's trait to a different player, then shield it. Okay, so it's a little different than the one Danielle chose. And this one is good for all players, so fighters and noblemen can use it as well as both factions. Well, you can use it. You can get a point. Anyone can use it. Could yeah. you use that to on yourself? As in, I want to look at his trait and show it to me. Uh, or does it have to be another person? It has, it has to, to be, be another else. person. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's two different people. Well, right. I was wondering if the second person on that card uh -huh. could be yourself. You have to figure out if you who you might trust, right? This is, so, and this will kind of show what will benefit you. Mm -hmm. So... You Those symbols also, are on your identity card. You, can, you can also kind of narrow down whether other people are choosing to benefit them, and they can also choose to hide their identity by not choosing things that will benefit mm -hmm. them. So, just kind of. But then you won't get as many attention. points. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So pay attention to what would like help you. Okay. The symbols are right here. Okay. Um. For it. Good choice. That's not giving away any information <laughs> about who you are. It's I was about to say, that is the other benefit there. Yeah. The fact that it's just good <laughs> points regardless of character. Uh huh. Immediate. So you're going to do this immediately. So, um, so I just select two people mm -hmm. to see each other's. Or so one first, card? first yeah. select one person and their trait. So you can point at trait. And then select another person they are going to show that trait to. Okay. Secretly. So. <laughs> You. So which one right. you get? You get to oh, choose. Oh, I choose yeah. the trait. Uh -huh. Okay, um, let's go with that one. Then who am I showing this one to? Callie. Oh, thank you. Okay. And now it's shielded. No one else can look at it. Do they show each other, or just one person looks at it? Just, just one person. One person. Oh. It's not like yours where it was dual information. Okay. All right. Max's turn I to choose a card. I am going to play a little defensively for this guy. I'm going to take the Ornithopter's Escape. 
So it'll save me for a future round. All right. Mm. Okay, so this is when there's two of the same card, we're actually going to discard one and bring out a different one. So you have more options. Okay. Which is nice. <laughs> we are back to another secret meeting, which is show your trait to another player and view theirs, then shield both traits. So uh, that is a excellent one, by my opinion, there. So I'm mm -hmm. going to do that guy. Okay. Uh, it's immediate. Um, so you have only one you can choose now to show. Right. And then um, I have two. Jenny has two. two Max has one. one. So I'm going to do one of yours and okay. go with that right one. Okay. Alright. There we go. And a new action card comes out. Okay, so that was one round. Everyone got a card. You can see we all have it on our field. And then we're going to move this little marker to the next round. So we're going to do this three rounds, three times. Everyone's going to get a card. So, Danielle, you're up. Maybe, uh, Mike, could you read that one? What is yeah, it? Yeah, uh, Mindbreaker, any targeting round. Uh, view any, another player's shielded trait, target that player, or discard one of your target cards. So it forces you to target somebody there after viewing one of their shielded traits. What does this one say? Oh, play both, the, your, uh, play both your target cards in the second targeting round. Mm -hmm. So it gives you an extra turn to target people. I guess I'll do this one. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And then, <laughs> well, well, you can also look on. So I love the reference cards in this game too. They give a lot of helpful information. You can see exactly for a five player how many of each type. We got the two Trades fighter, the Trades noble, a Harkonnen fighter, and a Harkonnen noble. So we can see that here, and. We can see their special abilities too at the end of the game. You're gonna lose, um, you lose different points based, you lose a different amount of points based on how many attack cards are played on you. So it's important to note that too. If you are able to attack the Atreides Noble, it's actually worth two points attacking them versus their fighter, right? The fighters wanna protect the nobles. And for the new card we got out for this is our first Atreides card, which is Free Man uh, Secrecy. View your own trait, then shield it. So it allows you to lock down one of your traits and no one else will know what it is. It could unless also... you have something that goes around it. Yes, yes. unless you have something that goes around it. Uh-huh. Or if there's... Um... Sorry, not that, but it also will not enable you to do some of the other cards where you have to have a, a trait available to be shielded. If you have one that it needs you to share uh, a yeah. trait there, you can't. Mm -hmm. Or other people can't target you for that. So you sometimes you might not get information then, which is tricky, but... So it's a handy defense, but it also narrows down what you can do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, for me, is better interesting than the other options <laughs> so i'm gonna view my tree Ooh, secret secret in case you forgot and yeah. shield it yeah yeah you know or which one was where right and then place out another action uh, another worm sign target player yeah it shows another oh, player the one you you had last mm -hmm. round <laughs> in case you wanted it again you know yes. <laughs> Well, the good thing is, is it works for all players, so. Mm -hmm. Well, almost out of players to target with that. Um. <laughs> so maybe that one's good, yeah. View another player's shielded trait, target that player, or discard one of your target cards. I don't... Ooh. Okay, so, I don't think I have during the cards. targeting round, yeah, we're all going to get two targeting cards, right? So you're going to be able to oh. view a shielded trait like, oh, if you know one of someone's trait, but you don't know the other, and you want to make sure that they're either on your side or someone you want to attack, mm -hmm. you get a chance now to view their shielded trait, make sure that you want to 
attack or defend them and then play a card. But then you have to play your card on them. Otherwise, it gets discarded. For the audience, so it's basically at the end of the game, yeah. you'll get two cards, attack, defend, and you'll choose somebody to attack, choose somebody to defend. And then at the end of the game, you'll flip all those cards over, everyone's going to take damage, and whatever side has the least amount of damage on that little track there is the winner. It's really straightforward. So if it ever says targeting, targeting round, it always means the last two rounds of the game when players are playing cards to hurt each other. Oh, okay. Thank you. So you're done, and now it's Max's turn. Which is a Astrides si uh, sigil. Okay. Deliver a sigil token to another player. So now we're, we're getting into the tokens here. So the sigil, so this says during the first targeting round. So when we get here, on your turn, you'll be able to play a sigil token. And basically, you want this card if you're Atreides, because you can give it to someone who's a Trades, and they will get plus, if they are on that faction side, they will get plus one point. If they aren't, if they're Harkonnen, nothing will happen. And I'm going to take the worm side. Oh, interesting. <laughs> show another player straight to a different player and then shield it. So I am going to take Danny's card, and I'm going to be showing her. You can go ahead and lock your trade in place. And new card comes out. Yeah. And we got another and mind breaker. breaker. And that seems like an excellent card there. Mind you, they're all no yeah, order, so yeah. there's no options <laughs> that way. Um, <laughs> but hmm. This seems like a good one there, to say the least. And with that, another worm sign. There's a lot of those. Um, I also made chocolate bread. Josh, you're jealous because you don't get any chocolate bread. He was supposed <laughs> to Josh come here watching? and I was going to give him chocolate bread, yeah. but now he gets nothing. Michael's like, oh, I got to make bread for Josh. <laughs> no, first know. thing in the morning, he's like, yeah. I got to make bread for Josh. <laughs> Thinking about him bright and early, and then he doesn't show up. Okay, now we're on the third round. Okay. I'll do this one. <laughs> um, um, show your left one to what's your name? Mike. Mike. Yep. We'd always joke Thanks. at so our parties. If you don't know a dude's name, it's probably <laughs> Mike or Michael. Mm -hmm. We're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I turn. Oh, there are not a lot of options here. Yeah, I was um, about to say. So what I can't happens? do that one. Yeah. So it's just not an option to pick at all. Yeah. yeah I know. It I mean, it's. Do anything, I could pick but... it, but it wouldn't do anything basically. Okay. Um. So I'd rather be able to do something. I think. Hmm. I think they already have that one too. I guess. Do this one. Mind mm -hmm. games. So this is the last card you're gonna get. Remember, keep that in mind. Last chance to get. So when the targeting <laughs> rounds start, there, first targeting round there, you won't get any more actions. Correct, but you'll be able unless you have cards that say first targeting round or any targeting round. Yeah, but you have the, the ones choice. You already selected. Yes, but you have the choice. Okay, I'm going to use this now mm -hmm. on my turn on the targeting round. And you'll flip it, to, or turn it to show that you used it. Right. Okay, so immediately you'll be able to view your card and shield it. In case you forgot it again. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to take Mind Games. Ooh, okay. And this is a new one, which is Atreides Master of Assassins. To deliver an assassin token to another player. Okay, so See, the assassin token, the yeah, you want to, if you're Atreides, you want to use this to target Harkonnen. If 
it turns out that player is a Harkonnen at the end of the game, they will get minus one point. It does nothing on an Atreides person. Identity. The last card to pick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can be the little stapler that comes in during the Microsoft Word. You know the little stapler who's like, hey guys, <laughs> when you're playing as a bad guy and you want to put one of those tokens on a player, you want to Wait, make sure you Wait, will you, you make sure on... who the assassin is supposed to target? It can target, well, it's only, it's, it's, it's supposed to target Harkonnen and they lose points. Harkonnen. But if it targets okay. anything else, they don't yeah. lose points. Gotcha. So the good guys will want to put it on the bad guys. Mm -hmm. And the bad guys will want to put it on the good guys. Uh -huh. And go, oh, that's a bad guy. And put it on one of those bad guys who's actually not bad. Thusly, they won't lose points at the end of the game. So All right. that's We're the idea. We're done with the action cards. These are going to go away. We're now on the first targeting round. So everyone will get one attack, one defend, and you can mix them up however you want, so no one knows what you're playing on players. Hmm. I go first still? Yes. So during your turn, during the targeting round, you have a chance to use any of your cards, like this one says first targeting round, so you you want to use this one now if you want to use it and you turn it to show that that you're using it and then okay. you wouldn't play a target card you get to wait and get gather more information basically wait what do you mean I don't so this one play both your target cards in the second targeting round oh, okay. so if you do that you don't play anything right now okay. you wait and you can kind of get more information about who's playing I'll wait then. on who yes okay so this one is the first targeting round. This one I can't use. Nobody's played a target card yet. So I'll, I have to do this one. So who do I think is on my side? Well, only one other person picked up an Atreides card. So I'm gonna guess <laughs> you're on my team. <laughs> and now it's your turn. So you have, you could use this one now, or you could wait till the next round. So oh wait, no, sorry, I have to use my card too. Okay, and now I'm gonna play one card secretly. Hmm. All right. And then everybody can only get two target cards put on them as well, correct? Uh, three. Three. And yeah. we can't look at the target cards on ourselves. Nope, correct? not till the end. So here's your, your card. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, now okay. it's your turn, sorry. <laughs> so... I don't have to play this? You could save it for the next, your next turn. And that'll be the last opportunity. What is this okay. one? The oh, yeah. The player's shield of trait. Mm -hmm. um, but it can give you information. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, if you already yeah. know one <laughs> person's card there, you can look at the other. And that would just straight out and identify them. Right. Mm. The one downside is, like on his case there, only one card's been viewed, so you can only use it on one card. Right. Which, if you did know that one there, you can't look at the other. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, I. I'm trying to remember <laughs> what I think I saw mm -hmm. and who I saw it from. Then. I would like to see your shielded trait. There you go. Thank you. Now remember, you have to target him now. So. Okay. With one of your cards. So if you think he, if he's on your side. Defend. You defend. If he's not on your side, attack. And don't reveal <laughs> anything <All right. laughs> socially. I'm going to be using my mind games 
allowing me to hold off and do both of my targeting cards on the next round. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to do the Mind Break. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm going to be wanting to look at your left card. <laughs> and don't not to, that oh, one. Yep, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there you are. And uh, you can only use one card per. You could use that one, but well. actually, be the last. You wouldn't want to, because you just gave me a target card. <laughs> you already saw it. Well, right, but I wouldn't <laughs> use it on you, but I could use it on him, for example. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you want to, you want to use it before you give me the target card to oh, view the last kind of like one that of, we played. Yeah. 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 Um, I'll just wait till next turn. Yeah. All right. In response of you putting the targeting card on her, I'm going to interrupt it. I'm going to reject the target card. Sender chooses a new receiver or discards the target card. Mm-hmm. So you can either put the target oh. card on somebody else or you can completely gotcha. disregard it. So it has okay. to be that one. Well, I mean, put it like that. Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I got another targeting card on me. And that's it. Yep. Okay, what do these mean again when you put them on somebody? So, you have to have a card that lets you do that. Okay. So, I gave um, Jenny a sigil, which is, I think she's a trade. If, if I think she's a trade, she gets plus one. If she's Arcona, nothing happens. So, just to make sure I understand these right, by the way, there. So, if this is put on an Atreides. A Harkonnen. Let's see how it's red. Right. No, 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 I know. One. So it just, oh, oh, if it is, yeah. If somebody puts one of these, a sigil on in tradies, they get a bonus. Mm-hmm. If the same person there gets one of these on there, nothing happens, right? Correct, yeah. Vice versa, if they're Harkonnen, nothing if you put, ha- and mm-hmm. or they can lose a point. Mm-hmm. So both of these are to the advantage of a tradies. Yes, but you could also use it to kind of hide, right? Yeah, mislead. Yeah, yeah. I just meant the inherent portion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By the way, I really never handed the dealer token. Well, I guess it started the game. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then do I do one of those or no? That's just no. That's card, just right? if you have the card. Um, did you? Okay, you didn't. I'm doing both. You're doing both now. All right. Okay, now my turn. I'm going to. View the last target card another player received. So, which one did this one? I just received it. Please. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to um, give you this one. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. <laughs> so, these I've already played, they're both immediate, so yeah, I so can't do anything, right? So, you don't have any more special abilities, you're just going to play your last target card. Mm hmm. Now, there's no max cap on how many target cards a player gets. Three. Right? Okay. So, max of three. So, we're, st- we're still good. Do you want to know what she has? Yeah, okay, I can't so she has two that give her points, any, oh. doesn't matter what she is, mm-hmm. and then one fighter card. Now I get to play both of my cards because of my mind games. I am targeting Mike, and I am targeting Callie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to use this guy there since last turn on that there. And I'm... You have to view this one. It's based on who did... Who oh, yeah, this is the last one that was played. On another player. Yeah. So if the last one played on another player, you can choose the player, and it was the last card put on that player. 
So if I pick Max, oh. it'd be his last card. So it would be this card. Oh, I, oh okay. okay. I thought it would just be the last one. Played. Last target, another player received. Oh, got it. Okay. Played. Most okay, not played. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so in this case, I'm going to look at yours. Mm-hmm. Which is always good to make sure to stack the cards so you know which one is your last. Yep. There you go. Um, and, uh, yeah. Gotta <laughs> stack another one there. <laughs> oh, it's good or bad. <laughs> so popular. Oh, I thought it should have been there. Okay. And everyone's played all of their cards. Yes. Right? No more action. Okay. And now we're going to tally up the points. So, can Drumroll want, who wants to reveal? <laughs> How about let's have the any uh, Atreides fighter reveal? The Atreides fighter is me. Uh okay. Yeah. There should be two You're of wrong, them. Michael. And you? Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. Wrong. And oh, now no. And now the uh Harkonnen fighter. Okay. Mm. Interesting. And Evil. now um so we know our two nobles here. <laughs> Which one do you guys think is Callie's evil? <laughs> What, what's your definition of evil? <laughs> noble. Mm. See, it's interesting because they both took the Atreides symbols. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it makes it really I know that she said this wouldn't benefit her when she picked it up. Oh. And I was I, lying. I was about to say, you know, she was wondering who was an ally as well earlier and looked for the Atreides symbol there. I thought you were a fighter for me, though. I knew. Yeah, I thought uh, so. I knew he was going to be Harkonnen. I just... I thought I, you were evil. What? What? How, how'd you know I was going to be Harkonnen? It's, it's not my face, is it? <laughs> it's not your face. No, I knew you were going to be Harkonnen. I it's honestly thought you were going to be the noble, though. Dang it. Okay, it so now we'll reveal and see what people targeted us with. Oh, okay, defend. Yay, you got Yay. me. I got you, Callie. <laughs> Except... Well, all of them? so yep, there's an up and a down to that. Oh, you had oh. a lot of oh, demons. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, but we all figured out <laughs> but, the harpoon in there. As a fighter, only one counts. Yeah, yeah. So, same thing with him. He's got one on him as mm-hmm. a fighter. I got one as a fighter, so that ends up actually equaling out. Yes. So at so, this point, it comes down to our choices of cards. Correct. So everyone's going to um, count up how many points they have. So. Do your pluses and your minuses as for you as an individual, and then we'll go. We'll start with Danielle and go around. So these, no here. No. So you get one point, and you're a fighter, so you get one point, and everyone so get one Full point tally. three, four. Okay. So four, four are treaties. One, two, three, four. Oh, so three, the defense four. actually gain. Okay. Mm-hmm. I thought they just canceled out the attack. Okay, for me. I have I got all of my symbols. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now the bad part. <laughs> We're okay. gonna go back the other way. So I get three for these, right? Yes, for the defense. And then I get two. two. Yes, so five. And this doesn't do anything. That does right? nothing, yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. For me, I have three points here, but I will reduce on one because of the tax off. We have a plus two to the Atreides. Okay, and now Harkonnen Fighter. I only have one on that guy there, and I lose one here, so... So nothing. Cancels out. So Atreides, House Atreides wins! Yay! Good triumphs over evil. (laughs) (laughs) And that's how you play Dune Betrayal. And it's just so funny. They're both wearing red shirts. (gasps) Oh! Oh. That is very interesting. How did evil that to begin with. <laughs> they showed up evil. <laughs> Their <laughs> evilness <laughs> was revealed, he came prepared, and they though, died he on green planet. Pants on, so. Oh, so he was ready <laughs> to <laughs> represent. <laughs> Are you colorblind? <laughs> Christmas. Maybe. No, oh, Christmas. Early Christmas. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Start with decorations. What do you think looking from the outside in, Michael? <laughs> I thought that you were evil. No, I was not evil. Card. Yeah. He thought I was evil too. I was hiding. A noble, the no, a trade noble is very vulnerable. Any attack card is two points against them. 
So you really don't want to out yourself. Which is why I defended yourself. you. Yes, thank you. Even you. People thought you were bad, though, for sure. <laughs> oh, I knew he was bad. You were in trouble. I just thought he was the noble. I knew who you were off the bat nobles. there. I knew you were a noble there. But well, honestly, there, what gave you, you saw, away was your confusion. You saw both of my cards. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> saw both of my cards. It's like, when we end, why didn't you tag? Before that point, actually. You're the other fighter. Okay. You're noble. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> and that was, yeah. the giveaway was the first card to pick. Um... I didn't have a lot of uh, options sorry, actually one, yeah. for these, so because <laughs> there were always two noble cards available. Did you just available. make yourself side beams? Mm -hmm. I did. Thank you. <laughs> if you guys want to pick up the game Doom Betrayal, it's on Gale Force Nine's website. There's it a link. It plays four to eight players. Link in the description. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Twenty to forty minutes. It, um, it's a good pace for this type of game. I think it's similar to uh, the Resistance or Avalon. We've played those ones before. It has a similar kind of feel with the board and different rounds, and the social component to the game. Um, what about you, Jenny? Your first time playing? Maybe a little confusing at first. Yeah, but I didn't really you... know what we were doing until we were about halfway through. And, and then, and then you got it. And we started picking it up. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Did you enjoy being the Harkonnen noble? I did. Being um, evil. I forgot about the symbols, to be totally honest, until you said she's the only one that picked up, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't do that. I forgot to pay attention. So that it was, was good. Uh, you helped hide me, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost knew flat out from the beginning that you were going to be the noble for the Atreides, so I already knew my defensive was going straight to you. Mike was throwing me off because... He picked up Noble, so did you, but you picked up yeah. the Atreides, so I'm like, <laughs> okay, that's a little interesting. Uh -huh. but My problem on that was is that the first one, I picked up the one that was anybody. The second one, though, they were all Noble cards. Yeah. I didn't he had, he had to pick a Noble. Um, oh. The third one there, I just picked up one there that I thought would be beneficial there. Uh -huh. So It is a good strategy to do it. It but lost it me out on the points. You out on the points. Yeah. Either way, sadly enough there, since the second one had to be Noble, I wasn't getting a point for that. I yeah. could have made the difference there if you hadn't blocked my one card, <laughs> but that would have been the only point. Yeah, having that nice interrupt, being able to shift a card around, can be a lot uh -huh. of protection. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Clean it up and let's play right. Time Bomb. Time Bomb. Yeah. Well, Danielle didn't give her uh, opinion. Yeah, she can give it while you guys clean up. Yep. Yeah. It's cool. I don't know. I've won both times, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you're an expert. Action cards, trait cards, sure. Yes. Identity cards. All right. Mortgages. And they all fit oh, exactly. in the box here. One second. Identity cards. And the remaining trait cards. Those. These are all the helper cards. <laughs> Yes. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this game quick is a lot up. of fun. This is what we're playing? It's quick, it's easy. No. no, time bomb. Michael has got time bomb currently, so. Oh, okay. We did that quickly. We're ready. We're ready to go. Don't forget, you can enter to win your choice of... Where'd the game go? <laughs> Warhammer 40k edition or we have the Nightmare, Nightmare Forest. Forest all you have to do is share the live stream share it and then I mean leave us a comment to let us know you share that's the best way for us to make sure you get entered into the giveaway and you'll win your choice of Munchkin Warhammer Age of Sigmar or Nightmare Forest Alien Invasion so you can choose, and we'll mail it out to you. Uh -huh. All right. Shuffle them up. Deal one each player. Okay. Next, we're playing Time Bomb. There's a clipper. Pretty <laughs> quick clipper, clipper, clipper. card game as well. All right. Which you, those are rolls. There's three different. There's two different rolls. There's red and blue. Blue's good guys. Red's bad guys. Why am I seeing a pattern here? <laughs> <laughs> That's usually how it is. But I mean, good and bad, it's relative, right? <laughs> some people like blowing up the bomb, some people like not blowing up the bomb. That's exactly what the game's about. <laughs> <laughs> Almost reminds me of the VR game where you had to try to tell your friends on how to just 
disarm the bomb. Don't stop talking uh, or, or explode. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> Had a lot there's, of fun with that one. There. There's different versions of that game too. Okay, these are all the different bombs. You can play Callie, go different ahead and push those platforms. over there. Oh yeah, you guys can DVM out and I'll explain. So you first shuffle the roll cards, dealt with each player, face down. The They're secret, but you can look at them. All right, pair the wires. Choose as many colors of bombs as there are players. Take the five bomb cards mm -hmm. for each of those colors. Colors don't matter unless you're playing the variant. We're not. We're just going to play the basic one. So as many colors as there are players. So we're going to choose... Wait, what is this one? That's not a color. Okay. Set that aside. Yeah. So we have blue, pink, yellow, green, orange, and red. So get rid of one, basically. Yeah, just take one away. Red is bad. Red is bad. Let's touch middle. I don't know. Last game. All right. Did, shuffle so. all those, and then remove a number of cards equal to the number of players. So, five more again. That's right. Shuffle, shuffle in, secretly shuffle in. Then add as many diffusing cards as there are players. The diffusing cards are the little check marks. So substitute basically five of them. Yep, yeah, they'll substitute five. Yeah. Then you're gonna shuffle five. the wire cards and deal five cards to every player face down. So I remove five. Yep. Add five. Shuffle those up. Make sure they're all nice and distributed. And then you will deal five of those cards out to each player secretly face down, and you can put them in a line or a row. It's up to you. Then everybody's going to look at their cards. And shuffle them again and place them on the table. So you'll know what cards you have, but not where they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the last person who visits London starts. And I don't know how to play a game. But first, I'm going to switch the camera. Wait, I don't... How many? <laughs> Five. Five cards. Five. Everything, okay. is, everything is number of players. Okay. You move for a second. It's right over there. No, to your left, to your left. Oh. To the left, to the left. Is my left or your left? Um, uh, your left. All right, I'm going to smooch mine in here. I'm going to switch this out really quick. Preserve battery life. And then turn you back on. Thank okay. you, Callie. So everyone can look at these. And then scoot your butt back in. You'll know what you have. Now, the real question is, do you want the fancy clippers or the card that's a clipper? Ooh, fancy, fancy clippers. All right, so throw the other card away, or set it over there. Yeah. Trash. <laughs> so you want to memorize your cards. Yeah, look That's at your very cards. very important. How many of each? The main thing you want to look at is how many check marks you have, really. After you've looked, go ahead and shuffle your cards and place them down on the table, face down. You can make them look like a singular wire if you want. You can make them just next to each other. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as they're on the table for people to see. Can I do an S? You do whatever you want. <laughs> this might be easier this, this way. <laughs> yeah, so usually I just do it easy easy way. So it's no, it's not a thematic. <laughs> okay. The game lasts four rounds. In each round, you're going to use the wire cutter to cut other players' wires, hoping to complete your objective. The first player, which will be Callie, is going to place the wire cutter on any other player's wire. Feel free to discuss and listen to other players' arguments before choosing a wire, but you cannot cut one of your own, so you always have to cut somebody else's. Then you'll reveal that card. If the card is the first, second, or third bomb of the given color, nothing will happen. So if you get a green, or there's two greens on the table, or three, no big deal. Mm -hmm. However, if the fourth bomb of that color is revealed, boom, the red guys win. So if you're playing as a red character, or as Moriarty, then you will win as the explosion happens. However, if you reveal a check mark, which is one of those check marks that doesn't look like a bomb, uh, then that is one step closer to victory. If you get all of the check marks, you will win the game. Which I believe there's a total of five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the card is the last two. diffusing, yeah, so if, they, if the card is diffusing wire, place it in, um, in with the other diffusing, revealed diffusing wires to keep track of how many. 
If the card is the last defusing wire card, London saves. Sherlock's team wins, and you may reveal the cards and celebrate victory. Otherwise, the game continues. The owner of the card, whose wires, wire was cut, removes the wire cutter, places it on any other player's wire card to cut the wire, and so on. When the round ends, which is basically after everybody has, has gotten a chance to cut, then you're going to shuffle all the cards together and deal out four cards to each player. You'll go through the round again, shuffle them up, deal out three cards to each player. The game ends when one of the following happens. Either A, all diffused wire cards have been revealed, four bombs of a single color have been revealed, or there, is still, or, or there are still unrevealed diffusing wire cards at the end of the fourth round. Time's run out, the clock strikes midnight, and the bomb explodes, and Moriarty wins. No. Okay. Uh -huh. So as a red player, your objective is to manipulate the game so that they do not get all of the check marks. Mm -hmm. And as the... Blue players, your objective is to try and make sure that you snip all of the check marks that are available to you. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Red guys blow the people up. Blue guys find those check marks. We want to cut the right wire. You guys, guys. have any questions? No. Okay, Callie can start. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the channel so, down a little bit before you choose though. Yeah. You so we can see. Yeah, I'm not choosing. Yeah, I need I need information first. And, and you yeah, want to be just a bit. probably kind of vague still, but Perfect. who is very has a good green chance? Maybe safe bet. Safe bet. Does anyone like maybe have one or two? Feel like you're good green? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find out who Fair has enough. a green check mark like, in their wires here. Oh, okay. if you're yeah, a but guy, if you're true, you want to lie. And yeah, so for instance, if green. you're a bad guy and you have two check marks, you don't want the good guys to get those check marks. So you might say, "Oh, I'm sorry, all my cards are bombs." Uh, as a good as a good guy, if you have a bunch of check marks, you can go, "Oh, you should snip me because I've got three check marks here." So there's a good chance you'll get one. However, let's say that there's three bombs that are green revealed, and you have another green bomb in here but you also have a check mark you might not be wanting them to clip you because you'll okay, lose the game but, uh, but maybe needed. the check mark is needed mm -hmm. so maybe you'll need to wait till next round uh, you seemed almost too eager max i don't know well, come on you know how i play these games you would think by now you guys would stop trying to think i'm acting as evil uh, uh, evil, you're I'm, not, evil. I'm not Mine's evil. evil i always play the good Jeez, person me. Up until like the last five if seconds. If you think I'm evil, I would have choose And you. then I would no. have evil. No. Yeah, you don't play I, evil. You're still evil. You might miss out. Uh, okay, so it's definitely between you two because I feel like you could be good. I don't know you. I mean. <laughs> don't judge the red shirt. And then Max like, I'm always good. Snip one. Okay, Do I'm it. snipping this middle one. We'll see from Max. It's a bomb. One green. One green bomb. And it'll get put in the middle of the table. Mm -hmm. mm. You said to snip one, so I think this guy. This one? Yeah, the first one. We have oh. a yellow bomb. What do the symbols on the bottom mean? Uh, Super Variant Expert Edition. Ah. So there's so nothing special, right now. yeah, there's special abilities if you want to play so with those. So that's not, is, what is there's that? Nothing, that's okay. nothing it's for us. It's not going to matter for the game, game mode we're playing. There's a special variant for it. Sneepers, sneepers. Other moves. Hmm. You're avoiding gazes, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You always just stare at people, so I'm not worried about you. <laughs> you know what, I'm going to go snippy snippy. Blue oh. bomb. We're not doing so hot right now. <laughs> All right. I mean, at uh, least they're different colors. It gives us a little more time. All righty. Um, just so we're evenly split. Um, uh, any, any, mighty mo. Um, no, no, don't do mine. It's sounding like no. yes. It's no, like yes. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, don't do mine. I'll know you're bad if you do if you cut one of mine. Wait, How's you that said you weren't bad? evil. <laughs> I know that he, that I'm evil that Mike if I is do bad. Yours. Yeah. Maybe Callie has all the check marks. Oh. Right? Be fair for the start. We'll go this way then. 
And I'll go with this second one there. Check mark. Oh, wow. Good chance. Yeah. Huh. Okay. And so then, do we go in order or? Yeah. Yes. 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 So. The last one before we shuffle. Uh, yeah. Um, Another um, green, one. green bombs. Okay, so now gather up all oh. the bombs or wires. Bombs as well. Yeah. <laughs> please. All of the ones, please. So leave those out there. Yeah, no, I'm just. Uh, yeah. We could still. The last explode. player to receive the wire cutter. The last player to receive the wire cutter becomes the new player. Okay. The player who last got their card revealed. That'd be me. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to go first this round. Uh, so first we got a deal out four to oh, each okay. person. Oh, you might want to shovel it more. Oh, is that why you're giving it to me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I thought I thought you were the last person who cut, uh, okay. not the person Because I can't shuffle. So. Yeah. I, I mean, these, I can shuffle badly. Well, if the deck is very small, it's hard to shuffle. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, one blue on oh, the field, one yellow, oh, two green, oh, and oh, one check mark out of five oh, that we need. Oh, so everyone look at your cards, see what you have. That's map. Pay attention to the colors now. Green gets a little riskier. So once we get five of something, that's when whoever wins? Uh, so four for the bomb. Oh, okay. Or five for the check mark. Green is close. Halfway there, yeah. Not good. Uh, oh, and I start. Okay. Yep. Um, you guys can say what you have in any way you want. Bright and shiny. Well, I'd hope so. They're, they're, they're kind of... Cards. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't um, say that's good. Good not that bad, one really. yet. Um, <laughs> got that bright, uh, shiny coin. You got a coin instead of a card? I didn't yes. shuffle that bad. Oh, really? Yeah. I got a bright, shiny coin. I would not choose mine. I know. Oh. There's, there's a small chance. It's can, good. Can't all be me. bombs. <laughs> um, what's a coin? I don't know. It's not a check, that's for certain. <laughs> no, I'm, please don't. You have a small good chance on mine. Like how small? Like really small? Well, I've got a better chance. Maybe a quarter. I will, I will say that, I got a better chance. I'm just going to go safe and go with yours again there. And let's go with the second one again. <laughs> just repeat the same action there. Hope it turns out. Well. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, well, oh, okay. There's that. Um, Sorry, pal. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, it worked last time. Um, coin. The odds of a coin. It doesn't make any sense. 50-50. Oh. But... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Check mark. Yes. Okay, that. okay. Well, I mean, without flat out saying what my odds are, I was trying <laughs> to like make sense be to say playful it. with it. I have a good feeling about this one. Oh, no. sorry. I was about to say the 50 oh, 50's already gone there, so. As long as you don't have a green. I don't know. Well, I mean, the check mark's green, so. Well, you know, no, I mean, a green bomb. <laughs> green is good. Green is good. So far, yeah. Everyone one, always one. thinks I'm evil. You just I'm said green is truthful. good. You yeah. said green is good. No, these are green bombs. I'm this saying you don't have good. a green, and I meant bomb. Oh, oh, oh very wow. lucky. Whoa. <laughs> All right, I'm hitting a bomb. No matter uh, where I go. I mean, you're not guaranteed a bomb. But... I'm guaranteed a bomb. I got there. bombs. I got bombs for days. <laughs> I, I'm guaranteed a bomb here. Three. Yeah, now the days. question is, is am I going to get a green bomb? Uh, um, 
Oh. I wouldn't recommend mine. Mine either. You had more than 50-50 chance? No, I, I had Okay, there's flip. still two check marks out there. That's what I was saying. Oh. I thought there was only How four checks. How is 50 There's five. Oh, there's five. five. There's five. Yeah, he had four cards. Two of them. We only got one of the checks, so, so he has the other. Yeah, Don't shoot but me. he's making it sound like he had three checks. No, he just wasn't counting. Yeah. yeah. Four. Um, Give me that one. Okay. Orange, okay. Different Orange color. is different color. <laughs> and now... Uh, I already went yep. there, so... And you were the last revealed, so you'll be the first to go. One more green. One more green, Either two way. more check marks. <laughs> Green's for the finish line. Either one. <laughs> uh, which? So we're on round two. Wait, I thought we need all right? five check marks, right? Three, three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah. All five. Yep. Yeah, we need all five check marks. So we need. Oh, so yeah, that's mm -hmm. it's, so it's four bombs, five check marks. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, How I'm many one. each? Four or no? Three. Uh, now. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So how many green ones are left? Only one green one left there, and then two check marks. Okay. I, well. No, there's two, but we only need one more to lose. There are two green ones left. Potentially, okay, it depends if it was one, one of the ones that got shuffled out here. Potentially, there's no oh, more greens yeah. because it's one of the ones that got removed. I forgot about those. Oh, it could be. Yeah. Um. Okay. That's actually an interesting thing there. That bomb could be a, a I've got a no go. I've got a string. I'll say that. Doesn't make any sense again. Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody uh, want to make sense? I think he means no they're all different. No one knows how what? a string. He was making plenty of sense earlier there. He was talking about 50 cents. Yeah. 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 No one knows so how I think he made many strands are in the string. Like sense. <laughs> one, two, three. Just kidding. I don't know. Okay. The other sense. Okay. Who? Mm -hmm. I'm closer to pi. Let's go with that. I'm going to go with somebody who... Uh, <laughs> <I'm wrong. laughs> so it's like a cherry. Are you evil? Three or is it apple? Evil Three one four. I, yeah. I think yeah. Max didn't lie last time. You should probably choose one of his. Okay. I'm close to pie. Yeah. I still don't get it. Is I know. So think of that in a percentage. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Three hundred and fourteen percent. Yeah, that's weird. Check mark. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Not mine. If you're a good guy, Max, you should let them know. My luck is gone. What about you. <laughs> I have forgotten. That's very bad. My luck is run out. Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. I wasn't getting. <laughs> What the hell I really don't about? know how to guide you here. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have one of these? Give me a thumbs up. Can I say yes or no? You, uh, I, you can you say yes. Do, do you have good stuff? I do. Okay, you have good stuff. You can talk about mm -hmm. pies and scents and stuff. And string. Yes, yes. You just say it's good, it's bad. You've never, you know? you've never taken apart a piece of string. It's three threads. Always. I mean, always right. guaranteed. Oh. Uh, you, Mike, no, 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 but Mike, we all have okay. three, three yeah, hands, I know. I so like, I had please no, one <laughs> strand. So oh. I had one check mark. Oh, my. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. It was a stretch. I, I, I get it. it. It was I a got stretch. Bad stuff. Trying okay. to give I, I feel the like answers. we're going over here. I'm trying to give people answers oh. without saying <gasps> what it was. <laughs> Yay! The bomb has been I knew it. Yay. We got the check mark. Good guy, good guy. Oh, yeah, I knew you could. Like, and we both had the green ones, right? Like we both had too. the green bomb. She should have said she didn't have it. I was about to say. She was trying to double block. She was trying to. I had the green bomb, too, so I was like. Yeah. I, I had, had these. You had the green I wasn't too. trying yeah. to bluff at all there, because I had nothing that was beneficial there to bluff Yeah, like if you had had the green bomb, then you would have said you had a check mark. Yeah. That would be a good, good move then. So you did, you did Who fine. Who else was good? Oh, Me. us three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah literally it is the same team. Like, okay, Sadly, I am getting a check mark. Red team there. versus yeah. not red team again. I always end up with someone who looks All right, like one more. I feel this, okay. this deck is... All right, everybody yeah. hand me your, yeah. cool. okay. your player card. If I'm red again... <laughs> put these ones 
Uh, don't put in the check mark yet. The robot. Because um, you'll take out five cards. I was about to say, we need to add those back in. Yeah, I got them back in. Red shirts again. I know. It's literally red shirt central Do you tonight. Guys both work at Blue Target prevails. Too. No, <laughs> I used to. It's just my first store to go to. <laughs> Okay, then take out five cards and then shuffle these ones in. Uh, did we miss a card being put in? Because I see a No, card. no, I put them in. Yeah. Oh. If you're talking about that one, that's the no. covers. And yeah, that's a check mark we don't need to worry about. Don't have five each. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I've been a good guy all night. <laughs> you like to say that when you're not a good guy. No, I'm good. <laughs> you say that all the time. I'm starting to believe Michael a little bit better that you're evil. evil. I'm not evil. Wait, why are there four? Oh, no, mm -hmm. okay. You're just shuffling. You just shuffle. Yeah. yeah. So they, they, Every if you don't want to have to try to bridge and stuff, you can uh, different Three, shuffle types. Five, one. Five, one, two, three, four. Okay, there was a missing card. Um, oh. That I gave somebody two. I have five. five. Okay, we did do this incorrectly then. Oh, oh, oh I pulled out okay. an extra. Okay. okay. <laughs> We're good. Back on track. Everyone looked at their secret what identity. We'll do is everyone will close their eyes at the same time and reveal face up to the camera, the countdown camera, what if you're a good or bad guy. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you, you'll be able to okay. control that. Okay. So yeah, we'll put our cards first. Perfect. Put your identity card maybe in your hand like this. So the camera can see it. And everybody look up and smile at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and then a little oh. more for you. Yeah, for your hand especially. Okay, everyone close your eyes, look down our way, and reveal for a few seconds here. And hide. And hide. Put it down and you can look. And I need to make sure I don't pay attention to chat for the next little yep. bit. So. Don't look, Michael's got chat. He's good. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> He's looking at it. Responding to people. Alright, <laughs> and who did the last, um, Cutting. You. Oh. She, so it's her. She's the one that, that was the last one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. You yeah, get yeah. to go first this time. All right. I think Little I. Little sliver of a chance. I think I get it. Um. Tiny, tiny sliver here. Sliver of a chance. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what question to ask for the first round though, so I'm just go here. I don't think it's really. We there. start <laughs> off with a rocking <laughs> success. All right. There it is. My chances are yeah. gone. <laughs> Maybe they're All the right, bad guy. Not see. not saying they have one or two. Everyone's being quiet. So. I'm. I thought I have. Um, it's small, but if no one's saying. Right. Unless maybe one of the bad guys has like two or three, then yeah. you want to try to suss them out. Well, well, not going to say anything. Wait, wait. So yeah. so so far we had two that said small, three actually. Um, we already got yours. Yep. Go on. So that. Honestly, that only leaves one. So honestly, probably two. it's pretty even divide. Two. Take that one right there. Okay. Oh, pink bunny. Um. <laughs> Stay, away. Stay away. I know. I know. I'm looking at this one there. Um. Such a low chance, though. <laughs> I'm not hearing any high chances, so going with... The this one? Okay. Blue. Blue. Oh. Different color. Uh, oh. No, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you can never pick your own. That's the hard that part. That is too. the one that I'm <laughs> about. Oh. Secondary blue. 
There is still a chance here. Yeah. I have a small... But... Is there oceans in no, there? No, okay. not oceans. Okay. Then I, so 25%. I, I have no duplicates for one thing there, but yeah, there's still a chance. Yeah. Uh, you're very quiet. I'm usually very quiet. I have <laughs> something that's there. I also yeah. have something that's there. Uh -huh. oh. Looks like so my best I... chance is over here. Even if one of them, I, I don't know which one would be Flesh lying and have have the check mark so let's Dude, go here do it um it's not a good one no okay well at least we're me. spread um, yeah yeah you get them second round yeah. i really need a better memory <laughs> uh, i like to take a mental picture of my hands in my head, and then I can go back and kind of look at it. <laughs> yeah. You create a or, memory to something you pay attention to. Yeah. So you just have to, like, focus. Or you, oh. word association, right? Like, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, pink, pink boa, blue just ocean. Memory, so. <laughs> oh, well. Like, that's handy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but the only problem with that is once you randomize it, it kind of makes it a little harder. Oh, yeah, but then you need to be predictive rather than knowing. Um, because you don't, you don't know what you don't know. Okay. Oh, I have a very bad chance. Oh, and you get the But there is a chance, right? No. <laughs> well, well, okay. <laughs> this is very bad. Who has the snippers last? Uh, Callie um, did. So... No, but no, I, no. it got used on me last. Oh. Yeah, it was no, the last because, reveal. Yep. Very, very bad. <laughs> uh, okay. 100% uh, mm. bad. Stay away. Stay away. Don't go here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just go nowhere. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to believe one of you guys is bluffing there, or the silent one there, one of the two. Mm -hmm. um, it's always I feel like she's mutual. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't um, really, you, you might want to go with the mutual. I got one good one and two bad ones. Okay. <gasps> depending yeah, on whose side you're on, <laughs> and then one that you know is other. <laughs> so. Okay. So do it that way. You will. All for nothing. That's more and less cryptic than string. <laughs> um. Yeah. Mine are cool. great, but they're not. Probably not gonna hurt us. Mine are gonna hurt us. <laughs> But who's us? It's either That's all him. or nothing. It's oh. <laughs> somebody. Oh. Ouch. No asking. What can I? What can I? Ooh. What can I? Now, if there's any games you want to play in the future. Who? Who are all the viewers? Oh, because viewers. I'm a ray of sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> because you're a new gamer, they're curious if you have any like games on your wish list. Ah. I have to imagine not really, though. I mean, you already play Moonshell, so what else, what else is there? Is? There's nothing better than Moonshell. <laughs> Why would I play anything else? Oh. Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> I <right>. said... <laughs> There was the weird, strange warning there, yes, of arbitrary value there. Wait, yeah, you didn't, because you went first with my turn. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, I have a low chance. Okay, sorry. It's there, it's just low. Are you saying no, no you're lying? No, 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 stay away from me. Oh, oh, stay away from me. Yeah, I'm not, I was staying away from you. I'm pretty sure you're telling the truth about that. <laughs> like, I think you have a check mark, but you could also have a bad bomb color. Uh... Low chance. Probably this, but do you have something that will really hurt? Us? Uh, no. Okay. I do have. I don't. I don't have no ocean. Um, <laughs> I concur. <laughs> okay. Okay. I yeah. have three out of four of what is currently yeah. there. So yeah. I, oh, I, I that could be. Could be. I don't. I know what two of my cards are. 
<laughs> it's a mystery card. And the middle one, the other one, I really don't. It's just SpongeBob. Okay. <laughs> I think That's we gotta go. To oh, no. You okay. activated my draft card. What? Yes. Oh, I got nice. it. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Now it's me. Yes. Yep. Like I said, I got a low chance, but. Okay. No. Mm-mm. No. I'm, <laughs> I have, I'm seeing all those. I have. So all you're. Mm-mm. It's like, I don't know if you're like, Mm-mm. don't do it because I got check marks and I'm a bad guy. And if you slip my blue card. He hasn't been making sense this entire time. Yeah, that's but, true. But, but yeah. someone got a blue from him. Sense, or yeah, have I been making good. so much sense? No. It's been absolutely that is strange. Yeah. Yeah, if I, I have a nickel for every time, wait. Sense! Uh, <laughs> don't choose Mac. But yeah. Need a candle. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Let's go with your second card from no, me. No, don't provide him more string. Uh, this <laughs> yeah. One? yeah. Yay! Oh, nice. Right. There we go. Okay. And, and that's the last one, right? Nope. No, Matt. One more. Okay. 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 okay, this is going to be last. interesting. I'm glad I can't pick myself. I will say that for certainty. He said slim chance, so the yep. likelihood that he has another check mark is... Yes, yep. <laughs> which means it's down to one of you two. Mind you, nothing in here will super hurt, but oh, I know none that, of it helpful. <laughs> I know I'm not going to hit a blue. I've got blue. Mm-hmm. So, well, remember, there's five blue. Callie's been pretty quiet this time. There could be it, five it, blue. It, yeah, there's some there sunshine five, here, yeah. so you don't want to go blue. here. Mm-hmm. Well, Which means there can only be yellow. three. You can never get a blue. Yellow yet, we don't have, have yet. Or, oh, or, or gold. Or, yeah, I mean, like, shiny. Golden ray of sunshine. <laughs> Golden ray of sunshine. <laughs> yeah. I also like I have three forts. Of what is there? Mm. So it sounds like Danielle's very risky, but at least you have a chance getting a check mark. But it could be bad. Mine mm. is somewhat risky, but not terrible. I guess. Ooh. I think you got a terrible right. one. But that's, yeah. the round, though, right? that's the end of the round. Yeah. yeah, but that's good and bad there because if we don't get all the checks oh, by right. next, I get uh, it. no, we have two more rounds. We're good, right? We go till the bomb goes. Well, yeah, there's four turns. One way or the other. It is four turns there. If you don't get it within four turns, timer goes off. That's the other way that the bomb goes off. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I missed what you just said. So, <laughs> two ways of bombers winning is A, four of a kind, or B, fourth turn down and no, don't have all the check marks. Oh, cool. Got it. Instant. Yeah. Name of the game, Time Bomb. <laughs> um, oh. Well, here's to being not helpful at all, ever. <laughs> and Kel. Thank you. Oh, I shuffle these that one. <laughs> Make sure. I don't know. Light them out. No, Where it is. <laughs> Not to be fun, don't we? Mm-hmm. All right, what has everyone got? No. Low chance. Mine is not a good idea. But it's, uh, uh. Low chance. I'm so nervous. Okay. Pie goes a uh, pie for me explodes. Yeah. Yeah, same. I'm kind of helpful. Oh, oh no! no! You bad again? What? No, no. Oh! I just like my shirt. <laughs> no one else oh, was saying oh, they oh. had one, so you knew you were bad. Uh-huh. Did you have a check mark? I had two check marks the last round. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, that was good. I had a check mark and too, I, but I was the first chose one. me the whole round. Nobody chose me, and I had two check marks. <laughs> That's how it, it was. It was, it it was well. a 50-50 between you and Callie. So, mm-hmm. so wait, so was there you four of the blue or was there five of the blue? Because I also had a gold. I, so I really didn't know how to say Yeah, but if you say. had said something, then I would know so. he was lying because I had the other oh, check mark. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. 
That's See, it's interesting. I was cryptic. Huh? Yeah, every time I was cryptic, I was saying exactly what I had. But yeah, but mm-hmm. you've been a good guy every time. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Mike was the only one who said something about like, having a check mark, and I had the other check mark, which I was kind of holding as information. So I was like, okay, I guess we're the two that have it. <laughs> that time, since I had the other blue, there was one of those things of uh, that was my check mark. Um, <laughs> was my check, check mark, mark not yours, for but... <laughs> That's how you play Time Bomb. Time Bomb. <laughs> that like one's this. available on Amazon. It's a pretty, yeah. pretty good deal. That's um, fine. Card, quick, mm-hmm. easy card game. You can travel with it too, which is nice. So funny bit with that there. So if we've been trying to pursue yellow, it would have never worked mm-hmm. uh, for people trying yeah. to sell off the bomb. Uh huh. I tried, but there weren't. You could tell too, like there weren't any yellow out. Uh, no, no, I was yeah, it never so came scared out that somebody would have found my check marks and found out <laughs> <laughs> that you were a liar. <laughs> well, that but that, that, is at that point, somebody's already right calling your bluff. Yeah. Which one you like best, Callie? Uh, I think I like this one for yeah, light, quick play. But I think Dune Betrayal has um, you know, just a lot more more going on. So that one is what I would prefer if we chose the game to play again. I like this one because I am uh, still new to playing games, so this one was a little bit quicker, a little easier to learn. Quicker to pick up. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And fast paced. Do you, you feel like you could teach your family this game? Yeah. Yeah. Not mine. Something, <laughs> I think, something I think they would actually enjoy playing, whereas the other one I think would have been over their heads. No offense to my family. <laughs> yeah. Danielle, what do you think? It was entertaining. I like it. <laughs> Which one simple. would you prefer to play again? Probably the second one with the group of people who like knew how to play it. Time bomb. Okay, it's fun. Mm-hmm. What about you, Mike? Uh, depends on the play. Usually, there for the most part, there uh, Doom. Uh, it had a little more creativity to it there, <laughs> uh, especially if you get more people into it. There, it leaves a lot more to guessing. Um, but uh, the second one there, honestly, was a nice, easy, quick play there. So that's definitely a good game as well. Dune, there's a lot more going on with it, a lot more deduction. With Time Bomb, there's a lot more social aspect to it, so it's a lot more fun when playing with more people. So depending on which group of people you're with is what I'd go with. I really enjoy both of them. Playing Dune is always a lot of fun. I love the aesthetic, love how the game is done overall. Time Bomb is quirky and just fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you want to check out either of those games, we'll have the links posted uh, in the description of the video. And of course, make sure you share this post slash video and leave us a comment letting us know that you shared and be entered to win your choice of two games, Nightmare Forest and or, or, I mean not and, or (laughs) Munchkin Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So some cards to add to your munchkin collection or start playing munchkin it can be a very addicting game or a cooperative card game here with nightmare forest alien invasion um work with your friends to fight off the alien invasion uh pretty fun too so that's about it for tonight thank you for joining us for doom betrayal and time bomb and of course check out our website unfilteredgamer.com for more reviews and giveaways on there as well as well as our videos here on youtube and of course watch the live stream every sunday 6 30 pst on facebook and posted later on youtube so thank you guys so much we're gonna do the little a little outro here so i'm gonna say um thank you guys so much for watching i look forward to See you guys next time when we do a little pointing thing. See you guys, and then you say, see you guys next time. Okay. Okay, you got it now, right? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys guys next time. time. Just like cover the whole face. Yeah. (laughs) Max, why did you get in the frame like that? It's hard.